Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. We just finished to restyle uh, this beautiful uh, Taxus Bacata from Spain. It's a famous tree in Europe, uh, it's called the Bicho. Uh, this tree was collected many years ago in the Asturias uh, and uh, uh, it belonged to many uh, inter international bonsai masters like Kevin Wilson, Enrico Savini and now myself. Uh, I got the tree three years ago and I was waiting this moment to be able to restyle the tree and uh, also keep up the legacy of this beautiful masterpiece. Bonsai Dream. Since uh, I got the tree three years before, I was always fighting to get the apex strong. The apical branch uh, was always very weak, and I understood uh, that the live line was compromised for previous wiring. So after three years of letting the tree getting stronger, I decided to remove uh, completely that branch. Uh, and create a nice piece of gin to highlight and link with the depth that the tree has at this base. I remove all the little branches and I start shaping using a rudiban the new gin that will be a nice central piece in the overall image of the new shape for this tree. Deadwood work uh, is always the first work uh, I start to do when I restyle a tree, especially in this case uh, when I have to remove uh, this uh, important branch uh, and uh, I have to start thinking with which green I will substitute the apex uh, for the future canopy. We keep many of the little branches uh, and we transform all of them in jeans. This is a natural looking shape that that would assume on taxes in nature. It's very important to clean very well every piece and break them down, creating a natural shape. One more branch uh, is uh, sacrifice uh, to reduce a little bit uh, the lower amount of green uh, that the tree has uh, and open up a little bit more the nice uh, looking trunk and live line in the lower part. Also this new gin will uh, easily link up the, with the new one uh, we just did in the top. Three sections form the tree, the lower one, the right one, and uh, the left one. So what we're gonna do is start pushing together the right one and the left one to cover the part uh, that uh, we lost uh, by removing the top branches and uh, transforming that big branch in a gin. So using guy wire and wire, we push uh, those parts together with the idea of uh, rebuilding a new top. Luckily, the tree is very, very strong, so we can wire all uh, the vegetation 
and uh, we plan to put uh, everything nicely in the new position with this uh, restyle. All the guys uh, together work uh, in the different part uh, of the tree, wiring every single branch uh, to be able to position the nice pads uh, in the perfect spot uh, to recreate uh, the shape of the tree. Now that all the branches are wired, I can finish the work in the top, pushing together with some more guy wire the apical side branches to be able to rebuild the top. I always have in mind the idea of the final product, so even when I wire, I can wire in the direction when I'm gonna do the bending. So pushing up those branches, I can get enough uh, small foliage uh, that uh, when I will be building the top, uh, I can open up uh, to recreate uh, the canopy of the tree. Walter finish wiring one side branch uh, before uh, we can uh, finish uh, the work. Another branch uh, get pushed together, so from the right side this time, uh, we go up uh, and close the apex. Enrico worked in the lower part uh, of the tree, taking care of cleaning all the nice line uh, from the pads. It's now time uh, to close the apex, uh, so me and Enrico, side by side, uh, we finish wiring the little branches uh, and we start uh, occupying uh, and closing the gaps uh, to be able to build uh, a nice uh, and uh, round uh, top. There are a lot of branches as you can see now and in the center you can see the old uh, main branch that uh, we killed uh, and uh, made uh, as a gin. I'm pretty pleased uh, with the nice uh, balance between the green uh, kind of hugging uh, the dead part and also that gin uh, really nicely match uh, with the lower part of the tree where I have uh, dead wood and live lines. It's a lot of work uh, putting together all the pads uh, and finding uh, the position for every single branch. Uh, I always uh, look at the tree from uh, far off uh, so I can follow the nice uh, right and left line uh, while I'm working up uh, to close uh, the apex.
And uh, here we are with the final product. Uh, the tree is very nice uh, and compact, uh, highlighting the big and strong base uh, with the live line. I remember since uh, 2010 when I visit Kevin Wilson Garden in uh, UK and the tree was his tree. I was always dreaming to have it uh, in my collection and finally my dream came true. I'm so happy that now I can be part uh, of the story of this beautiful European taxus. Thank you so much for watching this video, uh, I hope you like it uh, and if you want to know more about my work uh, send me an email uh, to get my bonsai book Bonsai Dream. Thank you! Bonsai Dream.